Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, as we know, expansion two for Forza Horizon Five is coming at the end of this month on the 29th of March, and it's been confirmed by Playground Games that the series will go off-road in a rally adventure. Now, ever since Horizon Five's first expansion, which was themed as Hot Wheels many speculations were made as to what Expansion 2 could be. Generally speaking with past Horizon games, Playground Games often releases two expansions, with the first being more of a tech demo if you will, where they will include features that could perhaps be implemented in their succeeding Horizon title, while the following expansion is often partnered with a major brand, creating more of a fun, less serious DLC. However, with Horizon 5, because Hot Wheels was released as the first expansion, expansion, the community didn't know what Playground Games had in store for us in the next DLC since they kind of broke the tradition. Could we be getting another rehash of Horizon 4's LEGO expansion, or are they just releasing the DLCs in reverse order? Therefore, whatever expansion 2 may be could be used as a tech demo for Forza Horizon 6. Sadly, that wasn't the case as it looks like expansion 2 is in some ways a loose rehash of Horizon 1's Rally expansion expansion, and the hope of a city-based DLC in which not only the community were heavily requesting for, but is also the one thing that has essentially eluded the entire Forza Horizon series is nothing but just a pure fantasy. So in today's video, I want to give you 5 reasons why I think a city expansion didn't happen for Forza Horizon 5. Starting off with number 1, original Xbox One weighing the game down. With Forza Horizon 5 being a cross-generational title, that means players who own an Xbox series or any of the Xbox One consoles can play Forza Horizon 5. Now although this may sound well and good, the downfall is that there are limitations working with a 10 year old original Xbox One console. And one of the biggest examples I can give you is the map. Ever since this series moved towards the Xbox One generation from Horizon 2 through to Horizon 4, the map size never really increased, but with Horizon 5, the map grew 1.5 times larger. The only problem now is that the map feels more empty than ever, and that's because the total amount of environmental assets such as the roads, buildings and trees across Horizon 2 through to 5 have largely stayed the same. That's why Horizon 5's map feels so empty and that's because everything is just more spread out and it may not be possible for Playground Games to actually include more assets on Horizon 5's main map, otherwise it could hinder the performance on the original Xbox One console. Now let's imagine if Playground Games were to make a city themed expansion, they probably wouldn't be able to go all out and feel an entire map with high-rise buildings and skyscrapers because the power of the original Xbox One won't be able to handle it. I can imagine the community and also myself as well, given how high our expectations would be for a city-themed expansion. If Playground Games were to make Expansion 2 and call it I don't know, City Adventure, and the map only had a handful of skyscrapers, kind of like Surface Paradise in Horizon 3, I know I would be guilty of saying something like, if they're going to make a city expansion, why don't they actually make a full city or put in more effort, something along those lines, but because of Microsoft's decision to release Horizon 5 as a cross-generational title, this could perhaps be a reason why Expansion 2 wasn't based in a city. Number 2, it doesn't fit with Forza Horizon 5's theme. So going on from my previous point with how the Horizon 5 map feels empty, this has essentially turned a majority of the map into an off-roading haven, with the roads being laid so spread out and certain fields not having many trees in sight. If you are lazy enough and can't be bothered discovering any new roads in the game, you can just simply start cutting through the grass. Not only that, many of the roads are dirt as well, and did I mention that on the top left corner of the map, there is a massive sand dune for you to test your Dakar skills. Not only that, Playground Games did mention that this map was built for the Eliminator game mode in mind, and although I believe this is partially true, while the other reason is of course the power limitation of the original Xbox One, one. For those that have not played the Eliminator yet, let me put it this way, you do not win if you stick on tarmac. 
So not only does this map feature many off-roading areas where you can go cross-countrying in, but the map was also designed for a game mode that rewards you for driving off-road too. Therefore, instead of building a city expansion, which is completely opposite to what Horizon 5 has to offer, maybe Playground Games decided it was a better decision to further expand on Horizon 5's off-roading experience, which now includes a new rallying race mode. Whether this was the right call or or not remains to be seen, but you certainly can't argue that out of all the Horizon titles, Forza Horizon 5 certainly focuses on off-roading the most. Number 3, Expansion 3. Alright, I know this one may be a little bit far-fetched as throughout the Horizon series we have never had a third expansion, but at this point, who knows what is going to happen next, with Playground Games essentially releasing two rehashed expansions. Maybe they are working on a city-based DLC behind the scenes, perhaps finding ways to truly optimise the Forza Tech engine so that they can find a balance between building a city as dense as they can while retaining optimal performance across all platforms. Now, generally speaking, expansion map sizes are a lot smaller than the main map, so perhaps this may allow them to place more huge asset buildings onto a smaller map to mitigate any performance issues that may be encountered on the older consoles. Now, with Forza Horizon 6 speculated to release in 2024, or maybe even 2025, that's almost two to three years of Forza Horizon 5 left to play. I'm almost certain that the thought of perhaps releasing a third expansion would have crossed Playground Games' mind, and just because in the Xbox and Microsoft Store, it states that two expansions will release for Horizon 5 and you can pre-order them whenever you want, still doesn't mean that a third expansion isn't possible. Look at the Hot Wheels Legends car pack from Forza Horizon 4. That was a DLC that was released on its own out of nowhere and wasn't a part of any Forza Horizon 4 bundles or special editions releases. Number 4, Forza Horizon 6. So another speculation about Forza Horizon 6 is that it will run on the new Forza Tech engine. Just like the upcoming new Forza Motorsport game which will release later this year. And one of the important things to know about the new engine is that it has been developed solely for the current Xbox Series consoles only. Meaning that Playground Games can develop the next Horizon title using all the power of the new Xbox Series consoles without having to adhere to the limitations of the previous generation platform. Perhaps with all the new and powerful technology at Playground Games disposal, they can finally deliver an entire city on the main map without any issues, therefore saving this huge request of a city expansion from the community and just giving it to us in the main game for the next Horizon title. And lastly, number 5, the developers don't want a city. This could also be a very good possibility too, despite everything that has been mentioned in today's video with all the limitations and everything else. Maybe, just maybe, the team over at Playground Games don't think it's worth their time or don't want a city to be featured in their Horizon game. Now, I certainly hope this isn't the case, and of course, this is just pure speculations at this moment, and the only way to tell whether this is true or not is that we will just have to wait. And if they do not include a big city for, let's say, Forza Horizon 6 to some capacity, despite the game most likely being available only on the Xbox Series console, which is more than capable of running a major city, then I guess we will all know our answer. So anyways, what do you guys think the reason why we didn't get a city expansion for Forza Horizon 5? Write them down in the comments section below. I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out and of course if you would like to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5 related be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.